Close your eyes and give all your attention to the breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it. Notice where you feel it when you breathe out. Notice what it feels like between the in-breath and between the out-breath. Try to be aware of all those stages of the breath so that your mind doesn't wander off someplace else. And if the breath doesn't feel comfortable, you can change it. That gives you something to do with the breath. You're not just sitting here passively watching. Part of you is acting, asking the question, is this comfortable enough? If it's not, okay, what are you going to do to make it more comfortable? Are you going to make it longer or shorter, heavier or lighter, faster or slower? Try to get sensitive to what the body needs right now. As for your other concerns, just let them go. It's as if all the rest of your life has just fallen away right now, and it's just you with the, aware of the breath right here, right now, and that's all you need to know. It's all you need to be aware of, because the mind needs time for itself. Otherwise, it's working all day, all day, all day. It's like a knife that you keep using and again and again and again, and after a while it gets, it gets dull. So we have to sharpen it. And even though the mind gets some rest when you're sleeping, a lot of times you spend a lot of time dreaming about all kinds of things. It doesn't really settle down. It doesn't settle down with any awareness, though. For the mind really to get sharpened, you have to settle it down and be aware at the same time. That's what we're trying to do. Keep it with the breath. Anything else comes up, you just learn how to let it go. At first you find yourself getting entangled in this, that, or the other thing. But learn how to entangle yourself, remind yourself, okay, you're not here to think about those things, you're here to work on developing good qualities of the mind. And as for those other things, you can think about them some other time. You've probably thought about them many times before. So there's no new news on that front. The new, real news is what you're doing as you get to know the present moment. Get more familiar with the present moment to know what you've got here, know what the potentials are. There are good potentials and bad potentials. Potentials that cause happiness, potentials that can cause a lot of suffering. So it's up to you to decide that you're going to stay here and learn these things. You're going to observe them. And it's through observing them that you get to know them. So watch them carefully, watch them quietly. Move the breath around in a way that feels good to keep yourself engaged in the present moment. And then just be watchful for whatever else comes up. Learning how to let it go, let it go, let it go. That way you find the mind gets a lot lighter and it gets a lot sharper at the same time. So next time it comes when you really need to use it for something difficult or something very precise, it's very sharp and it's precisely the tool you need. So when other thoughts come up and they accuse you of being irresponsible for not attending to them, tell yourself, okay. When the mind is in better shape, it's going to do a much better job of attending to those things. So for the time being, I don't have to worry about it. Just look after the mind right here, right now. That way you're looking after a lot of other things all at once. <laughs>